Unlimited. Chrysler, engineered to be great cars. Now get a thousand dollars cash allowance or 1.9 percent APR. This is News to Chicago. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lester Holt. And I'm Linda McLennan. After nine years behind bars, the man once dubbed the beauty shop rapist walked out of jail today a free man. John Willis wiped away the tears as he left Stateville Prison this morning. He had been convicted of two rapes, but when DNA evidence cleared him of one of the assaults, a judge let him go. I've been through a lot. You know, they got a lot of black innocent brothers in here now that don't pull to be here. In fact, Willis is the third convicted rapist set free by DNA in the past year and a half. And it's put the Chicago Crime Lab on the hot seat. Jeff Morell is there tonight. And Jeff, why are they taking so much heat? Well, tonight, Linda, the Chicago Police Crime Lab is a defendant in a multi-million dollar lawsuit. And there are calls for an investigation to determine if a crime lab technician may have concealed evidence that would have kept Willis and two other innocent men out of prison. As early as 1991, Chicago police crime lab technicians knew that John Willis could not possibly be the beauty shop rapist. Public defender Greg O'Reilly says blood tests they performed showed Willis is type B, the rapist type A. Right at that point, this case should have stopped taken a long pause and the defense should have been contacted. Instead, O'Reilly says the lab analyst, Pamela Fish, concealed exculpatory evidence and then testified at Willis's trial that the tests were, quote, inconclusive. O'Reilly doesn't know why she did so, but he's discovered a disturbing pattern. Throughout that laboratory, there seems to have been some difficulty turning over evidence that might have helped the defense. O'Reilly says in 1987, Fish withheld blood and fiber test results that would have exonerated Billy Wardell and Donald Reynolds. The two men were convicted of raping a University of Chicago student and spent 11 years in prison before DNA freed them in 1997. On Monday, Wardell's attorney filed a $17 million civil rights suit against the city's crime lab. The suit contends these are not isolated cases. O'Reilly says there may be a systemic problem. I do believe that it undermines the public confidence in the system when things like this go awry. So I think it's essential that we get right on the horse here and focus on finding the problem and solving it. Both Willis's and Wardell's attorneys are calling for an independent commission to investigate this lab and all the crime labs around the state. We tried to contact Ms. Fish today, but she was not available for comment. We were referred instead to a department spokesperson who was not in a position to comment on these allegations. Live on the West Side, I'm Jeff Morrell, News to Chicago. Linda Lester, back to you. All right, Jeff, thanks. Local merchants tipping off police that some teenagers are spending unusually large amounts of money help police in Naperville unravel a $90,000 bank heist. The FBI says the ringleader is 25-year-old Terrence Twist of Aurora, who has now been charged, though not yet in custody. He was a supervisor at the TCF Bank inside the Jewel Food Store on 95th Street. Police say he recruited at least eight teenagers, most of them students at Nequa Valley High School, to help him rob the bank. Twist is on the run, and all the teens are facing theft charges. Police say it's the largest drug bust in Chicago history. You're looking at one ton of cocaine, we're about to show you, seized at an auto detailing shop in southwest suburban Crestwood. Four men are now under arrest, the business owner and his nephew, and two men said to be higher-ups in the Mexican drug cartel. Prosecutors say the cocaine would be worth about $6 million on the street, far less than what police estimate it worth at $143 million. The best possible news tonight for State Attorney General Jim Ryan. Doctors tell Ryan that the cancer found last week near his jaw was isolated and treatable. They say it has not spread and treatment could begin as soon as Monday. Ryan had been in remission for 18 months after battling non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. One day after winning nearly three quarters of the votes cast in the mayoral race, Mayor Daley wanted to say thanks today. He went to the Wishbone Restaurant on the west side. The mayor says he attributes his success to the wide-ranging coalition he's built over the years. A search for survivors in western Austria, where a second avalanche in two days has now killed one person and left at least five others missing. Today, helicopters carried some 400 people out of the region, where a snowslide three stories high, 600 feet wide, swept down a mountainside. Teams of rescue workers continued to probe for bodies, 
Yesterday, an avalanche killed 16 people in that same area. An eighth grader who had never been a disciplinary problem took his school principal hostage with a gun today in Tennessee. The boy brought the gun to school, and when the principal confronted him, the student took him captive. The principal was released about three hours later. The student later surrendered. The boy is said to be a very good student. Is there another trial in O.J. Simpson's future? A California judge has given the okay for a new custody battle over Simpson's children, 13-year-old Sidney and 10-year-old Justin. The judge says a lower court should have considered evidence from the civil trial before granting custody to Simpson. Now O.J. must prove the children would be better with him than the parents of his ex-wife, Nicole. Tonight, a never-before-seen movie about the making of a classic. This is filmed from behind the scenes of Gone with the Wind. You can see Clark Gable relaxing at his trailer, Later, he has a cigarette with Vivian Lee. This is Olivia de Havilland and Leslie Howard getting ready for a scene. The three minutes of film was shot by an Iowa businessman. It was discovered in his basement in 1981, but it's taken until now for the film to be restored. If you're a coffee lover but you can't take the caffeine, stay where you are. We put some of the most popular decafs to the test, and they are not what they say they are necessarily. Also ahead, it used to be that teenagers wanted a couple of bucks for the, or the car keys. Well, nowadays they're asking for and getting plastic surgery. We'll check it out and tell you what's ahead in the forecast. Stick around. You're watching News 2 Chicago with Lester Holt, Linda McLennan, Steve Baskerville, and Tim Weigel. This is News 2 Chicago. How do you like your decaf? Black? White with sugar? How about with caffeine? If I'm going to have a cup of decaf because I don't want the caffeine, I'd expect it to be at least mostly decaffeinated. There could be a deception going on right in your coffee cup. Next, News 2 Chicago tests seven brands to see which coffee is decaf. If you're trying to watch your caffeine consumption, watch Decaf Deception. Linda McLennan reports next on News 2 Chicago. Take another look. Dodge Neon is designed for fun in the fast lane. And now it's exceptionally easy to get up to speed during the Neon Clearance. With your choice of either a $1,500 cash allowance or low 1.9 financing. Dodge Neon. All the fun without paying too big a price. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Last weekend, sneak preview audiences discovered the funniest movie to ever win their hearts. The Other Sister. I wonder who thought up sex in the first place. I think it was Madonna. The Other Sister. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday. Tonight's winning lottery numbers are 8, 11, 12, 18, and 26. Ah. Need glasses? There's no telling how much we could help you save. With a 300 horsepower V8 and Formula One inspired E Shift, driving the Lexus GS400 is always fun and games. New record. Good race. To continue play, see your Chicago area Lexus dealer. Did you recently get a cup of decaffeinated coffee, but it still made you jittery? Well, that coffee may have had more caffeine in it than you thought or hoped, because some brews contain decaf deception. I'll have a decaf coffee. Oh, decaf espresso? No, I'll have a double decaf cappuccino. Do you have any decaffeinated coffee ice cream? Morris? I'll have a half double decaffeinated yeah. half cap with a twist of lemon. Although we love our coffee, not everyone drinks it for a kickstart. Grande decaf skim no fun latte. Diane Daly orders decaf only. She has a heart condition and has to avoid caffeine. I read labels. It's not fun having your heart racing that fast. He's good, you're good. And because she's pregnant, podiatric surgeon Marlene Reed wants to reduce her caffeine intake. Her doctor has told her about some studies showing that a little caffeine is okay. But be aware that if you're drinking large amounts of coffee a day, that your baby is also getting exposed to that caffeine. So Marlene and Diane wondered, is decaf coffee really caffeine-free? To find out, we sent Marlene to collect cups of decaf from four familiar Chicago stops. A McDonald's restaurant, a Starbucks coffee shop, 
a white hen pantry convenience store, and an Einstein Brothers bagel shop. And of course, sometimes Marlene brews a pot at home. We also had her fix a cup of two brands that you might find in your own kitchen. Papa Nicholas's decaffeinated French roast and Hills Brothers decaffeinated coffee. Their labels read 100% coffee, 99.7% caffeine free. Now for our seventh sample, we're going to use a really popular brand of instant decaf coffee. It's Maxwell House Sanka. Just as we've done with these other six samples, we've put them into containers and we've numbered them. We're going to do the same thing with the Sanka sample. Put it in this container, it's got a number. Then all of these will be shipped off to a lab in Minneapolis where they'll be tested. They'll let us know if these decaffeinated coffees really are in fact decaffeinated. The FDA has guidelines for coffee. The caffeine content of a regular cup is 40 milligrams and up. But a cup of decaf should be in the 2 to 5 milligram range. So what were the results from our independent lab in Minnesota? Would you be surprised to learn that some cups were not decaf at all? I'd be very surprised. I'd be shocked. But it's true. First, the good news. The three packaged brews that you can fix at home were as advertised, containing either no caffeine or at most just a trace. As for the four fast food brews, Starbucks had 10 milligrams of caffeine, which is a little more than the FDA guidelines, but nothing serious. The coffee from Einstein Brothers Bagels had no traces of caffeine detectable in our test. The White Hen Brew was off the chart. 234 milligrams of caffeine in a cup that was supposed to be decaf. We were so surprised that we tested another cup. This one came in at zero milligrams of caffeine. We had the same strange results from McDonald's. The first cup of decaf had an astounding 269 milligrams of caffeine. The next cup, zero. If there is a big difference in the amount of decaf, in, in, the amount of caffeine in the decaf coffee that I'm drinking, I want to know about it. We went back to both the White Hen and McDonald's, and although neither manager would go on camera, they felt the mistake was probably caused by some human error. And the FDA agrees that that's the most likely explanation. It doubts that a company is purposely trying to deceive customers, but rather the clerk or waiter brings you regular coffee by mistake, or the coffee dispensers are accidentally mislabeled, or the brews themselves, because of the process, naturally vary cup to cup. Simply put, that means you can never be absolutely sure that the decaf really is completely decaf. And that's why the FDA once again emphasizes, quote, Caffeine content varies cup to cup. It is a chemical stimulant and people react to it in different ways. Moderation makes good sense. And Chicago obstetrician Dr. Lauren Stryker explains what that means. When we say in moderation, what we're looking at is 300 milligrams of caffeine or less a day. And as far as pregnant women are concerned. It's not nearly as dangerous as some people believe it to be. You have to have extraordinarily large amounts of caffeine to cause real problems. So here's the bottom line. If you need or want to cut caffeine, drink less coffee, period. If you want to avoid caffeine altogether, drink water. The other point Dr. Stryker makes is about the serving size. When you pour one of those mega mugs of coffee, you really may be getting the equivalent of three or four cups of coffee in just one serving. What would you do if your teenage son or daughter told you they wanted to have plastic surgery to change their nose, chin, waistline, even bust size? It's happening more and more. Why? As News 2 Chicago's Catherine Bliss tells us, the reasons are often as varied as the procedures. Well, I went in there and I said, Tori's spelling all the way. Yes, isn't that great? But um, I saw someone on 7th Heaven, okay, Jessica Leo, this is your big and thing. I liked her nose a lot because, I don't know, I thought it was cute. And cute is exactly what Sarah Rosette got. Six months ago, with her parents' support and consent, this 15-year-old Highland Park girl got her nose done. A nose she claims was too long and yucky before the surgery, to now an upturned button nose. Admittedly, not a huge difference, but to this teen, it was just the change she says she needed and wanted. I feel much more confident about myself 
after doing this, I think it was a good idea to do it. And apparently thousands of other teenagers think the same way. Plastic surgery is up some 70% over four years, and teenagers are a part of it, with nose jobs being the number one procedure. It's nothing that new, is it? No, I mean, it is well accepted in our society. It's almost, to a certain extent, almost like a rite of passage. A rite of passage that Dr. Stephen Block says is expanding into new areas of the body, from liposuction to tummy tucks on teens, even... Um, I've actually done a blepharoplasty, eyelids, bags, on a 10-year-old. Uh, a for medical reasons or cosmetic reasons? It bothered her from a cosmetic standpoint. A 10-year-old? Yes. Now, I grant you, this is extremely unusual. Unusual, but perhaps inevitable. Just listen to Sarah Rosette's mom. Oh, I think TV has a lot to do with it. Magazines, you know, everyone wants to be beautiful. So? And teenagers are no different. The image, ideal image that is, is everywhere. From teen stars on the big screen to teen magazines talking up the power of plastic surgery. And despite what you may think, this is not a single sex issue. This isn't just about teenage girls. You do cosmetic surgery on teenage boys. Absolutely. What have you done? Uh, liposuction. And nose jobs, I would say, is probably the most common. And chin implants. Simple procedures nowadays, claims Dr. Block, that can make a world of difference for any teen. Whether you're talking about a nose job that can run as high as $8,000, a new chin, $2,500, or ears for about $5,000. Were you called Dumbo ears? Or? <laughs> yeah, by some people I was, yeah. Really isn't very funny, is no. it? No. I mean, it wasn't to me, at least. Meet Emily Gleason. From the time she was a little girl, her big ears caused her great pain, but no longer. Last year, this Naperville teen had her ears done, changing more than just the way this 14-year-old looks. And I'm on a drill team, and so for competition, you have to, like, slick your hair back really tight in a ponytail. And it was, I mean, it was something that bothered me a lot. Sam Barnett of Arlington Heights understands how that feels. I'm only four foot nine. And a lot of girls that were taller than me weighed less than me, and that made me feel heavy. But Sam's problem wasn't really her weight. It was her breast size. And as a competitive athlete, an ice skater and runner, the physical discomfort was at times unbearable. So last year, Sam had a breast reduction. Cosmetic surgery by definition, but... Um, I did not look at it really as cosmetic surgery. I looked at it as... Um, a way for Samantha to get some help. She needed it. She and it worked in more ways than one. Friends with skating say that I'm a lot more hyper. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. In what way? I don't know. Why do you they, think they say that? They say I seem happier. Are you? Yeah. Well, something Sarah with her nose and Emily with her ears also felt after surgery, but for their parents, it wasn't an easy decision. After all, this is elective surgery, and there are always risks, Linda and Lester, which the parents took into careful consideration with it when they met with the plastic surgeon. Now, this is something a child just can't do at any, any age, is it? No, that's right. There is an age-appropriate uh, timeline for certain procedures. When you're considering a nose job, usually 14 for a girl, even 18 for a boy. But the other issue is emotional maturity and reasonable expectations, says Dr. Block. That Tory Spelling nose may look great on TV, but it may not always work or be possible on your daughter's or son's face. But I don't think a son wants Tory Spelling's nose now that I've said that. <laughs> At least we hope not. Listen, last name, last name is Rodman, but that's another story. <laughs> Catherine, thanks. Catherine. Hey, Stevie B joins us tonight. It snowed earlier on. What we got tomorrow and the next day? I'm looking at the, I wish every night could be like, I'm looking at the numbers. Remember we said one to three inches of snow? Yeah. One to three inches of snow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop right there because mm -hmm. not every day, right, not every <laughs> night is like that. Uh, let's hope that tomorrow comes through as uh, clear as we think it will. The temperature is rebounding tomorrow. The weather's improved tonight, by the way, as we get started. It is only partly to mostly cloudy. The snow has stopped. It is a cold night. But there's another little problem that's going to surface around here, and I'll tell you about that in just a second. 
Uh, what other temperatures now to go along with that picture? About 32 degrees downtown around the lakefront, 32 at Midway. Colder at O'Hare, where it's 28 degrees. Other parts of the weather story, there is a slight wind chill factor of 20. The winds are out of the west at 7. Barometer is steady. Humidity is way up there at 96%. Still very cloudy outside. 35 today could be 45 in some parts of Chicago tomorrow afternoon. That's the best part of the weather story. We are rain and snow free for all of Thursday. Now the fog could creep into town along with these partly cloudy skies. So that's the only other weather problem we see between now and the time you wake up tomorrow morning. It was a cool front that drifted through, one of those clippers that came from northwest to southeast and took all the snow with it and shoved it across to Indiana and Ohio and did it within about three or four hours. So it all changed pretty quickly. McHenry got the three inches of snow, by the way, eight tenths of uh, an inch of snow down in Romeoville. So generally just what we thought would happen tonight. Uh, that fast clipper will be long gone for the week, milder tomorrow basically. Uh, by late in the day on Friday, the only thing you have to worry about is another front coming toward us that could give us some nighttime rain. So as we wrap this up, clearing skies, lighter winds, only patchy fog and much improved weather. Warmer is what we'll say not only for tomorrow, but for Friday straight through the weekend. One out of the next four or five days looks snowy or rainy and that's only a little bit of rain on Saturday morning. So we're looking good now after this one to three inches of snow. Great. Thank you, Steve. Tim's up next with sports, Tim. Lester coming up a big night. DePaul tangles with the top team in the country. The Blackhawks play their first game for their new coach. And Dennis Rodman is in, and their coach is out with the Lakers, and we'll have the details next. This portion of News 2 Chicago is brought to you by all-wheel drive Subaru. Where's everyone with a front-wheel drive car? Hibernating, scared to come out in the snow. But an all-wheel drive Subaru is made for bad weather. The Subaru all-wheel driving system automatically transfers power from the wheels that slip to the wheels that grip for maximum traction and control. Hey, wake up, get a Subaru, and leave the hibernating to the bears. Subaru, the beauty of all-wheel drive. Hey, Chicago, visit us at www.subaruchicago.com. Cut was supposed to be here three days ago. You hear that? That's 20,000 screaming people that are going to tear me apart. You tear! Thank you very much. Oh, Thank you. Oh, Goodbye. Oh, Goodbye. Oh, Goodbye. Hey. Goodbye. Stanley Cup! Stanley Cup! Got an important package? Next time, send it FedEx and be absolutely sure. Fill your shopping cart with great values on all kinds of favorites. Fresh to your family from Jewel. Earn raves when you serve USDA Select Beef Boneless Strip Steak. Each 8-ounce steak is just $1.99. Dig into farm stand cantaloupe. Fresh. Only 79 cents each with preferred card. And pour on President's Choice Not From Concentrate Apple Juice. 99 cents a half gallon with preferred card. Fresh to your family from Jewel. Start something special. Bravada with Smart Track will automatically adjust to changing road conditions so you can drive with great confidence. And now you can drive with more money in your pocket. Because right now, the Bravada is available with $1,000 cash back. Bravada, start something special at your Oldsmobile dealer now. Dennis Rodman signs to play with whom? <laughs> Get some glasses, would you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got our glasses on. The worm's in, and the Dell Harris is out, and a wild day for the Lakers. Everyone denies the two events are related, but Rodman's probably better off with the new coach. As a matter of fact, in some ways, the worm says he's better off with the Lakers than the Bulls. I think I have more pressure in Chicago I'm having here. Um, I had to produce that. If I did, my career probably would have went down from there. Frank Hamlin informed me some t tremendous things about Dennis. Uh, I was all armed and ready to go, I can tell you that. But, uh, but it's, it's okay. I can accept, as God's will, it, what happens. 
What happened to the DePaul Blue Demons uh, tonight wasn't pretty. The largest college basketball crowd in Illinois history. Number one, Duke with Elton Brand having a devilishly good game and Trajan Langdon having 25 as number one ranked Duke dunks the Demons big time 96-64. In Champaign, the general Bobby Knight, baby, with a little migraine tonight, but he felt better when this one was over. The Hoosiers forced into overtime, but they had just enough to pull it out against the Fighting Illini. Luke Recker on the break as Illinois wins in OT. 70 to 64 and what a debut for new Blackhawk coach Lauren Mullican his first game since replacing Dirk Graham it may have been one of the Hawks best games of the season Chris Chelio sets up Doug Gilmore for one of his two goals in the first period Hawks win it 3-1 as they make a mountain out of a Mullican Ohio State beat Wisconsin 64-54 St. John's over Notre Dame 73-53 NIU 62-61 over Toledo time now for a timeout when we come back Mark McGuire talks about having bodyguards this portion of News to Chicago was brought to you by Ameritech. You're about to witness a crime. How's market? Yeah, no, not interested. Yeah, thanks. Sorry. It just happened on the phone. The long-distance company he was talking to switched his business's local toll service even though he said he wasn't interested. It's called slamming. It's illegal, and it can happen to any business. Get your business free slamming protection. Call Ameritech. Count on your Toyota dealer to lead you in the direction of some great deals because they're leading the way with Corolla, a Consumer's Digest Best Buy. Right now, get a super low lease of just $159 a month. That's only $159 a month on the most trusted car in the world. There's just one way to look for incredible savings. Your Toyota dealer is leading the way. Take advantage of this amazing Corolla lease and see why we're leading the way. The Great Outdoors Show is back at McCormick Place. See big sharks, log rolling, fishing, boating, travel, camping, and have lots of family fun. McCormick Place, East Hall, this Thursday through Sunday. Tons of easy access, covered parking, a great family outdoor show. We process oranges and cocoa in Brazil. Blend and distribute animal feeds on five continents. Export North American grain to hungry markets around the world. And produce fertilizers in Saskatchewan and Florida where our neighbors are flocking to their new home. Cargill. It's not just what we do, it's how we do it. What's your idea of the perfect minivan? Is it the most luxurious? One with a leather trimmed and preferred suede interior, heated front seats, and dual zone temperature control? Or is it America's lowest priced minivan that still includes features like easy out roller seats and air conditioning? There's only one place to choose from the complete selection of award-winning minivans. Your Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. Now get a thousand cash allowance or 1.9% APR on Chrysler and Plymouth minivans. In the morning, Grammy winners and losers. Mike Sneed on politics and show business. And chocolate banana bread pudding. What a combination. Starting at 5.30. You're watching News 2 Chicago. Well, bodyguards are out for Cardinal slugger Mark McGuire, even though he's the hottest celebrity in all the world of sports since he hit 70 homers last year. McGuire says he's not worried. So <laughs> I was sort of shocked when I was back home in L.A. and heard that I'm coming to camp with three bodyguards. I don't need any bodyguards. I don't want any. You know, I'm going to be who I am and walk in the public by myself. All right, way to go, Mark. Finally on the Wiener Watch, we're going to go to the Match Play Golf Tournament in California today. Freddie Couples beat Dudley Hart, but Freddie had a rocky hole here. First, we have oh, one horseshoe, and another miss, and oh, another horse. Pick it up, Freddie, and go on to the next hole. But he had a perfect day because not only did he win the match, but he also won a wiener. You can't ask for more than that on a golf course. Thanks, Tim. I gotta get glasses. You're ready. This is look. This looks silly. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, my friend. Back in a moment, but first tonight's winning lottery numbers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Real-time closed captioning on CBS2 Chicago is made possible by Jiffy Lube, Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana's favorite oil change, now in most Sears Auto Centers. The merger between giant Texas phone monopoly SBC and Ameritech could lead to higher phone bills and a loss of Illinois jobs. Right now, the state of Illinois is considering the impact of this merger on consumers. Already, leading consumer advocates and officials have expressed opposition to this merger. Call today, toll-free, 1-888-227-2137. Now is the time to make your voice heard. Why buy now? Because now, during the auto show, your Ford stores will give you an extra $500 cash back on every 99 Ford car, in addition to all current incentives. Add to Ford Taurus and get $1,000 cash back. Add to Ford Windstar or Ford Ranger and get $1,500 cash back. Or choose zero nine 9 financing and still get $500 cash back. So, why buy now? Because this auto show offer ends March 1st, and you don't need an auto show coupon to get it. Just get to your local Ford store today. Now I 